Wa uh, well, let Joe tell us uh, how well you were coming through over the airway. Hey. Uh, work and uh, and hopefully we'll win tonight, and we'll continue to do this throughout the rest of the playoffs. Absolutely, uh, Paul. I couldn't tell you myself that of the two-way playoffs, and it's a little pooch kick. They're they're afraid of letting Shelby uh, return it, and it goes. Nonetheless, the ball goes out of bounds. Shelby with first and ten. First and ten from the Shelby 35. Darrell Montgomery, the center, under center, uh, in motion out of the wing tee, and we look to pass the ball. We got a man open, and it's incomplete. Shelby, uh, it is the wing tee formation, and to give this time to Jolly across the right side. Jolly, nowhere to go. He may have even lost to the right defensive end. Shotgun formation, third and 11 after the loss of one. Three receivers to the left, and Shelby throwing it downfield. He's got Jolly out there, but it's broken up that those three plays, and Doug Spada into punt back deep is Lance, and the punt is not that long, but it takes a nice Shelby bounce, and uh, it's going to be down at about the changes on the next series, and let's see how the defense responds. Probably Limbo under center, eye formation, and the give is straight up the middle. That's the full one of the formation on the run. And Limbo under center, and the give this time to the tailback, his first carry of the night, and he's got, how did that happen? It looked uh, with a wing out to the right side, the give is to the tailback, but it's not really, well, it's one of their tailbacks. Possession. We've got the Blue Devils in a handoff again up the middle. This time the Golden Lions are there. And it's going to be a very short back in the game, I see. 260 pounds, and this time they look to throw the football, and they've got a man open. It's complete. Nice cover. A short five as they've got to get just past midfield, and they give it to the fullback up the middle, and Brent, he's easily got a first down, and this was what I feared. Put up in the headset, but nonetheless, first and ten in Shelby territory. This time it's the quick back. He bounces it outside, and he's breaking tackles. He's got some speed, and he's finally railed out of bounds by Demoris Brooks. Now for the Blue Devils, eye formation. Once again, they look to pass it, a quick hitter, and it's incomplete. Again, no doubt about it. And this time, they give up the middle again, and uh, uh, it's going to be very, very close to the first down as they ball game. 0-0 zero, zero on the Hessen Electric scoreboard. And they give us right up the middle, and I'll tell you what, Brent, it looks like they're going to give him a spot that's favorable but Shelby thinks they stopped him. Let's see where they mark it. They've got to get about half the football over the 35-yard line. And if it's just the nose, they're not going to get it. Oh, that is the closest measurement you can possibly. And let's see if this offense can uh, give that defense a little breathing room. And on first down, the give is up the middle. Collect first carry, but before he can pull it up. Wing T formation, and the give is up the middle. That's Collette. First down and more. His first carry of the night, and he's in. The Blue Devil territory down to the 45-yard line. At might under center. Jolly, Eskridge, and Gallette. They give us to Gallette again, and they can't stop him. Gallette close to another first down. Last two plays, and on second and very short, Ed gets the first down as he's down inside the 35-yard. Van Eskridge. And Eskridge is in motion to give us Gallette once again. His fourth carry in a row, and guess what, folks? He's into the secondary. He's down to the 15, 10, inside the 10-yard line. And it's first and goal, and Brent, if he had bar, and it's first and goal from just inside the 10 for Shelby. And the give is to Gallette again up the middle, and he's down close to the 5. They're probably going to mark it at about the 6. Let's give him from the 6, and this time the give is a trap, and there's Jolly into the end zone. Touchdown, Shelby! As the Golden Lions are on the scoreboard, the Hefner Electric scoreboard first tonight. Or Jolly. And with that, uh, Doug Spade is on for the extra point. Royce are on to hold. The snap's good. It's down. Spade's kick is up and high. Right through there. Onto the track. And with 4.57 left in the first quarter, the Golden Lions strike first on a six-yard touchdown run from Tavor. Back, Brent. Charlie Limbo is back deep to receive the, point, the kickoff. And, of course, I doubt there'll be many returns tonight as that Spade kickoff. And this time, two receivers, they split, try to spread the field a little bit, and all that's going to do is let that fullback have more room up the middle. The give, ooh, he is That's quick. a hold. That's wow. a big hold, and I called that one. <laughs> uh, what, I said, wow, because I was really impressed with the speed that... And under center again is... Limbo, and the give is up the middle. That's number 40, 18. Receivers left and right, and it looks like they want to throw it down the field. Nice coverage by Shelby, as they're all over that football. Man, was that nice coverage that time for Third down and long. 
And it is third and 18. Thanks, David. And the give is up the middle on third and 18. And with some room is Robinson. Oh, he's got his head knocked off. Oh, no, it's just his helmet. Wow. Van Eskridge came in to finish him off. A long snap, and it's a high snap. Shelby in there deep. Uh, they gets it away. No penalty. Wow. And I tell you, that was just an acting job that time by 39. And fell down on his own. So a good no call. And on first and 10 for Shelby, Van Eskridge with a big hole up the middle. He's spinning close to a first down, and there's a flag that comes in late. That could first quarter. Shelby 7, Brevard nothing on the Hefner left his scoreboard. And uh, Montgomery is wanting to pass it. He's down the field, wide open. It's Devorce Jolly. Touchdown, Shelby! Wow, what a pretty pass, Paul. Jolly and Odom both beating their men by five, maybe ten yards. A bullet of a pass. First Jolly, Jolly in the scoreboard for the second time tonight. David, what do you think? Uh, you can't draw it up much better than that, guys. Uh, again, Brevard standing home looking for the fullback, and uh, Jolly gets behind the defense. He was wide open. No doubt about it. Wide open is uh, it's an understatement, as uh, Brent said. Uh, and the extra point by Spade. Maybe wearing down already, Paul. Everybody that's key to them goes both ways, whereas Shelby has only three or four guys that go both ways, and they don't. The yard line. Two minutes to play here in the first quarter. They give it to the tailback, and that's 21 Robinson. He spins, he jukes, he jives, and he gets one yard. He was lucky to get second down and nine for the Blue Devils, and the give this time on a trap play is to number 20, and 20 with some nice yardage as he's out across the tw that third and three, a big play here. They don't want to have to give it back to Shelby. They give it to the tailback, and he is going to probably... Oh, yeah, I think he's got the first into some points. Second, or first and ten now, and they look to pass it again. Nice coverage by Shelby. Oh, they're going to call, they're going to call us that time for it. And not only might it have been tipped, but not, we got flagged for a 15-yarder, and now it's first down, and now they're into Shelby territory as on first down. There's out there, uh, and there's a timeout on the field. And here on the first play of the second quarter, they give it to the fullback up the middle. That's 49, and Brent, he's just carrying tacklers for the first down. And on first and ten to give up the middle, Shelby doing better this time. I believe that was Jonathan Elliott, a 60-pounder. And it looks like the quick pass again, and again, nice coverage. They're, they're saying that this was number nine. Okay. Third and long, and they look to pass again, and they've got two receivers in the same area. Heavy pressure by Shelby, and that was going incomplete as Jason Massey. Fourth and nine, they're both perched back about the 15-yard line for Shelby. The punt this time is a, uh, a low liner, but the kind that roll, and sure enough, rolls out of bounds at the Shelby 13-yard line. So, previous drive to the to the Jolly touchdown catch. And yes, we are. And Colette with big room up the middle. He better hold on to the football as he spins out across the 30 to the 32-yard line. And we... Montgomery under center and the give again to Gillette. This time they got a hold of him, Brent, but he's still going to carry guys for about three yards. Montgomery again as we're in the wing tee. This time the give is to Van Eskridge. Van with a little hole. He's making some moves and he's going to have, well, he had the first down and he fumbled. And that's what the Brevard Blue Devils have wanted. And it looks like there's no doubt about it. They have taken over as they recover the fumble. I tell you, Van had the first down. It's first and ten from the Shelby. 42-yard line after the fumble as Brevard takes over, and there's an equipment problem by Kent Cruz. Exactly what Shelby's defense is going to have to do because Brevard's defense did exactly what they wanted to do. And now, a nice run that time. That's 33, Chase Lance. Shelby had him in the back. On first and 10, to give up the middle. It's number nine. And number nine, Mr. Robinson is back deep, and he's got the carry. Big block, two, six, two, number two, six. <laughs> or, holy cow. He did make one juke, Paul, but Kent Cruz here is the big fullback in front of him, and he leads the way, and this time he brings it outside, and guess what? Tyree Martin, baby. Tyree Martin with the sure tackle as he had a defensive stance on this, as if he does punt it, there probably won't be a return. And it is a fake. It's a snap to the fullback, and he goes nowhere. Tyree Martin again, and I'll tell you what, he's hurt. Well, he's not hurt. Not Tyree's hurt, but uh, he's rolled down. A good report, David. You're right. Uh, it didn't look like Shelby, Shelby was ready. And then on first down is Gillette but breaking into the Blue Devil secondary, still on his feet. He's almost to mid. We only stopped ourselves on that last play. And Parks now in there at fullback for Shelby. So Gillette getting a breather, and the give is to Jolly. Jolly says, that's fine. It's my turn. And he's got both of the Shelby touchdowns tonight. And on first down, he and Eskridge. 
are in the backfield as well, forming the wing tee, and the give is up the middle to Parks this time, and Parks doing his job as he's going to have the first time. He's still running, folks. And he's, and he's still, still making going. forward progress. And he's still going. Oh and he's still going. And he's still going. And the Shelby And the whole crowd behind the bench the, is going crazy. And the bench of Shelby is awarding his effort. The sophomore, Divorce Jolly, Van Eskridge, are the other complimentary backs. And uh, the give is up the middle to Parks. And Parks with nice running room, Brent. Again, he's down inside the 30. Back. Same uh, compliment of backs in the same play as Parks takes it up the middle, running hard again, and he My still gets the yardage. Still going. It took one 28 yard line. Nine yards on the carry, and he gets it again. And up the middle for the first down is Parks, as he's down here, or Terrell is rested and gets the carry here. But no, it's Van across the left side, and Van uh, only gets a couple, he fumbles, fumbles again. again. But he fumbles it, and who's got it? Shelby. I think Shelby got it back. Van has fumbled on his last two carries. And he's pointing, he's taking his gloves. That's a great report, Dave. It is first and ten for Shelby, and on first down is Tavoris following his blockers, picking his way. He's got some nice yardage as he's down close. Not to uh, straighten things out. Yeah, he's going out, but uh, Shelby has indeed been awarded a timeout. Uh, one of the interesting... Try to throw down field, why not try it again? We're only one safety back there, and uh, here we go. We want to pass it, we got Van open. It is complete. It's not going to be a big game, but it's enough to get back to work. Uh, that's when we turn it down the field. So second and nine for Shelby. And Van with a carry. We're going right back to the senior. We're not going to let his two fumbles uh, get to his head as he's down. Eskridge has come off with a bloody lip after that last hit he took. So Van out of the game, and the give is up the middle on third down to Gallette. And Gallette is going to be short of the first down just watching the action. So I think this has been the mindset of this entire drive. So fourth and two for Shelby. And uh, looks like they're trying to draw this team off sides, and when they don't, they give it to Terrell Gallette, and he's going to be close to a first from the Brevard 18-yard line. And the give is good. No, it's kept by, what's the call? Is there a penalty? I guess still had his option. Uh, but he was out there with it that time. And the give is Montgomery. He wants to throw it down the field. He's got a man open. It's deflected. Oh, my. Coverage on that play. So double team and double coverage. And on third, second along, the give is up the middle. And uh, although Gillette's fighting hard, he's only going to be down to about the 20 yards. Yep, but he's going to be okay and will return later in the ballgame. Oh, yeah, that sounds okay to me, a hole in my upper lip. But on third and long, the Golden Lions just handed off up the mid second quarter for sure. And it's nice, as we said, the worst-case scenario is we go into halftime up by 14. But here we go with a chance for Doug to put three more on the board. A nice job that time by Royster to get that snap down. And the kick is good. So Spada from 34 yards and off. They on the Hefner Electric scoreboard, and this one might be returnable as Beta kicks it down in the corner. It's fumbled at about the five. Oh, man, Tyree's got a beat. And but Tyree missed him. missed him, and I tell you what, though, that's okay as Shelby's coverage. First and ten, the high formation, just like they started, and they run it up the middle, and this is the tailback, and the Golden Lion defense meets him. He's on the eight-yard line, and the give is a pullback up the middle. I believe that's Mason, and he's going to have the first down as he just knocks Shelby. He's like a bowling. That's why they're so uh, effective. And they give it to Mason again, and Mason fights for more tough yardage. Second and eight for the Blue Devils, and they give it to this tailback, and a nice hit this time, and that's what we talked about. We talked about Rob up that time to sniff that one out and then make that hit clean. And uh, they look to pass down the field at the floater, and there's that extra for the interception for Shelby. And he's got running room. He's got a corner to the end zone, folks, and he is going to take it. Down inside the five, touchdown no, Shelby. Play. They're going to call Shelby for a block in the back. That's... Uh, I don't know who it that is. Brandon Strong, it's either 61. Brandon or it could have been Leon. They were both in the area, and there's a sense of side of the football. Van in motion to give up the middle to Gillette. Gillette hit at the line of scrimmage and falls for the Golden Lions, the 15 yard line. And the give is to Gillette once again. He's trying to pick a hole. Nice job once again uh, by the defense. It'll work here if we fake it to Gillette and then give it to Tavoris right behind him. Kind of like that play right there. Kind of like this one where he scores a touchdown. I'm three for three calling plays. I might as well, well. Royce draws for the hole. McMurray to do the snapping. Snap is good. Snap. Hold is perfect. Kick perfect. And your Golden Lions with Shelby 24, Brevard. Shelby 24, Brevard 0 on the Hester Electric scoreboard as Tavoris Jolly has just scored his third touchdown of the night. And Doug Spade's kickoff will go into the end zone. And it'll be a touchback. 
So, uh, in Robinson in the backfield, Limbo. And the give is to Robinson. He's got a nice hole this time. He's in the secondary. And he's got speed. Let's, whoa, wow. I've never seen Van close that fast before. But not before Robinson breaks it down. All that play, he proved he can run people down. And our first and ten, Mason, the fullback up the middle. And Shelby's a little upset, folks, from that last play. Shelby 30-yard line. Limbo under, actually, that's not Limbo in the ball game anymore. Oh, he's hit hard as he throws by uh, Keon Ross. Massey off of their series, so. And uh, on second, third down and long, it's Robinson again. He gets a big hit by uh, Full of and a host of other. Scott McCray thus far as he's in to try a 43-yarder. And the snap is a good one. The kick is it's blocked. Shelby blocked it to Morris Brooks, and he recovers it at the Shelby 37-yard line, or 36, so they sweep from their own 36-yard line. And looks like they're going down the field for the home run. Montgomery down the middle, wide open. It's complete down to the 21-yard line. That's 83 for Shelby. Mark Craig over. The 21, so that's on some more. So that I mean 29 from the 36. And the give on first down is going. Fourth down here, Jason Massey, a right wrist injury, but I'll let you get the play. And the play is going nowhere as Tavoris Jolly, David, that's great uh, and good news, but actually still third and 12 for Shelby here as the defense has been coming up big. We got a penalty on this play as Gover uh, was the intent to get on for a, uh, looks like a 45-yard attempt here for the Gov Lions. Okay, I didn't think that was one that we could, they could decline. We almost looked like we stopped the play and that uh, we threw the football just for the heck of it, but uh, sure enough, it's declined, and this looks like it's a 40 Two-yarder. Plenty of distance. No, they say it's wide left. It was hard from our vent. So on downs uh, after the miss to take over. Limbo back in at quarterback. Robinson squirting through again. He is very fast. And a face mask that time by DeMorris Brooks on the tackle. And so not only did he get before, we got really upset from the defensive side. And let's see if that's what we do again. Uh, at 260 pounds, and Robinson gets the carry behind him, bounces it outside, gets a couple more. It's going to bring a third big fullback in, and then Robinson, the speedster, he gets the carry to have the first down, is following that big fullback into the hands of the Golden Lions. Well, it does, and that's what Brent was trying to say. Uh, she'll be content to just keep the out, Paul. Second and eight, 2-12 to play in the third quarter, and they give it to the tailback, Robinson. Robinson uh, maybe got a yard on the play and then that tailback this time. And Shelby with a run blitz, and they look to pass down the field, but it's tipped at the line of scrimmage. Nice blitz, a rush. They're just going to kind of play a safe zone block scheme. It's a low snap. It will be punted. It's another low one that's just going to hit and run down the field, and it's going to be down, way down deep at the ship in your territory. Make them earn everything they get. And the fullback gets the carry, and he's got yard, yardage. It's a first down and more as Gallette once again on first yards this time. For Gallette. And first and ten, Shelby with a little breathing room. The give is again up the middle. Gallette this time, gang tackled. Well, never really tackled. Uh, can't do it for the third quarter, folks. So the Golden Lions here in the second round of the state 2A playoff are going to take a look at his quarterback and say, Good job, because Daryl had already figured that out. That's a great job by the sophomore. It sure is. He sure has come a long way this season. And for second down, man, Eskridge with a lot of running room. He's into Brevard territory. First and 10, Shelby, and they are definitely wearing down. Look at this formation. Shotgun formation for Shelby, and yet they still hand it off up the middle to Arsenio Parks. And he's tracked down. A nice job that time. Yeah, someone with a little more speed, but still, that's okay. Positive yardage. And again, the, the shotgun, the quick out, uh, the pass to Gober. It's first, it's completed. Your fullback, Jolly and Eskridge, and Gober to the right side wide. And the give is up the middle to Parks. Parks with, uh, will be short of the first down, but only by about a yard. Right, and he's still in. Fourth and one, you gotta believe that they think we're going with the fullback. And guess what? We go with the fullback and up after that. So uh, it's caught him off guard both times. And on first down, it's Van Eskridge picking his way down inside the 20 yard line. And Van time with Jolly as your eye back. And then a little motion play as they bring Little in motion from the tight end and go back to a wing tee. They give it to Parks up the middle, folks. And Parks down to the five, down to the four-yard line, first and goal. Here, so they're getting a good look at next year's probably starting fullback in Arsenio Parks here tonight. Yeah, we did talk about that. And Brent mentioned that several of their backs are uh, underclassmen as well. So uh, 
We're going to call in a lot of these things. Second and goal from the two, and Parks up the middle. Parks is... Laying in the end zone. Laying in the end zone. It must be a touch. Uh, Beta on for the extra point. Nice snap. Uh, good rush, but the kick is good. And with 6.41 to play it to Classic Country 1390, we're back in 30. I mean, what more could you ask for? Up 24 to nothing to have an 11 play, 88 yard drive that takes up half of the third quarter and half of the fourth quarter to go with it. And the kickoff this time is fielded, but uh, it probably shouldn't have been. <laughs> As Adam Conley, number 10, receives their own 20, their own 20, and again, their own six. So maybe for these Blue Devils. And what do they do? They give it up to Robinson. Following this fullback, full of, we don't know that they got much else they can do. And uh, the give right up the middle to the fullback, the worst loss of the season uh, for Brevard. And on first down, the give the game. Shelby up 31 to nothing over Brevard. And the give to the fullback, and this time the fullback is Lance, or Chase Lance. Shelby is there going with their first unit still here in the fourth quarter. Uh, and I like that for a change. And now when they look to pass the football, of course, he's got no one to throw it to. He's going to come out of the pocket and run. Full of can't bring him down, but it gets second and short. And the shotgun formation, it's fumbled on the exchange. They do come back up with it, but uh, they, they have trouble doing it. Shotgun formation again. Limbo looks downfield. He's going to heave it up, and it looks like Shelby's got, oh, we had an interception, an apparent field goal or uh punt attempt and no it is a fake again mason this time does get the first down and, and i'll be honest for the blue devils as we welcome you back in and heavy pressure by cruz and now by doug scott limbo gets out of the way however tripped up by scott at the last second nice run to get away that time and to give to robinson up the middle he actually fighting for some tough yardage has a well, that wouldn't hurt my feelings because I believe uh, we've got such good coverage tonight on their receivers that they wouldn't complete that pass, especially if it was uh, third and long. The give is to Robinson. He's going to break it around the right side, has a first down, and finally chased out of bounds. Well, he's carried the ball a zillion times this half. So. First and ten, Brevard. They do drop back to pass. Wimble under pressure, and Brandon Strong is going to take him down. A big loss on the play back Second and 19 now, as the quick pass to the right this time complete, it's not Conley, surprise, surprise, and flags all over the place. Uh, well, I see a Excellent. few reserves yeah, in there. Yeah, there are some, actually. I think I see 28, Matt Featherston in there. They do look to pass, Blue Devils looking down the field, and the Golden Lions, oh, Tyree Martin had an interception. <laughs> I'm now, it's second and 10 for the Blue Devils, Limbo back to pass again, the quick one over the middle, it is complete. Uh, it's not going for too much yardage. Oh, it's out to the Williams family. We sure do. It's amazing he's out here playing tonight and putting out a great effort uh, as well. And uh, third down, it's back here. I believe it's probably just to spread things out, but they fake it. They got a man open deep. They it's off. off as the Golden Lions. And look at this, folks. Is that Holy Norris? Norris hell, look is that, that Martin? speed, though. That's speed, not if by the Shelby it, player. If it, oh, that's Terrence oh, he Norris. Oh, he it back. I know he didn't. No, that's Terrence Norris. He's gone. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. 99 yards, 98 yards. Let's get the official. That's his second one of the season, Paul. He picked one off a few weeks ago and took it back uh -huh. up at West Link. Oh, those coaches are going to talk to the Brevard coaches this week. And the kick by Rab is up, and it's good. And with seven seconds to play in the ball game. The Golden Lions to keep uh, our breaks uh, around that, so uh, we'll be looking for you. Doug Spada on the kickoff. Uh, it's going to be fielded at about the six-yard line, and this will be the best return they've had as they get it out to their own 20. Him as the clock, the Hefner Electric scoreboard shows zeros and advanced to the third round of the state 2A playoffs. A 38 to nothing victory over the Brevard Blue Devils tonight, folks. What? A performance by these Golden Lions in the...